Welcome to Terra on Cloud Night. Good morning or good evening, my soul friends. It's so lovely to see you again, and I'm forever grateful. Today, I was surprised, or better put it this way, I was pleasantly surprised or amazed to come to the insights during my nighttime meditation. Spirits have allowed me to see the words or key ideas for your work landscape next in your near future. We have three talismans here. They are generally considered the pendants of protection. So please pick with your intuition. If you need more time to pick, kindly just pause the video. Your result is awaiting. Pile number one. Congratulations. I see that for you guys in your ever evolving landscape of professional relationships. You can pick yourself back up again with those often um, overlooked yet powerful resources, which are your old connections. Who knew, right? These familiar faces, once you can find a way to integrate their impacts into your journey, they can become the catalysts for your career growth. And when more new opportunities that would inevitably reappear in your immediate future by them, introducing you to this or that field of expertise, they're going to be the ones who support you relentlessly when the promising time that you are looking forward to for a new job, a new position eventually comes. I think for you guys, whenever you hear someone say, um, remember when we da da da? Those words will be something like a, a click in your brain, an epiphany that will bridge your nostalgia emotions and your present uh, career outlook. Exactly like that. Such a beginning of sentence. Remember when we da da da? <laughs> it's so enlightening for you to hear. Trust me. Um, that's the magic you would, um, no doubt, be able to experience. I call it the magic of Six of Cups. Even better, if you can grab the chance to relive and make it so vivid, like yesterday once more, <laughs> you'll find that in the end, you'll feel super powerful, super glad, and it's also the laws of the universe that will give you another opportunity to take good use of such or um, leverage this emotional hook. Your old time childlike curiosity will re-emerge uh, once again and reconnect you, uh, your passionate work flame with former colleagues, mentors, or college bodies. Uh, their, their networks will act as your personal assistant um, or assistants to extend your network beyond um, what LinkedIn <laughs> can ever even capable of quantifying my love, tell number one, and then through them, your network will like continuously to grow and grow and grow. Uh -huh. So through them, you'll find that you actually benefit a lot. Uh, let me give you a few more examples since I'm getting right from the get-go. This is pivotal. I'm sensing an old acquaintance might introduce you to a game-changing client or a dream job opportunity. And notice this. Your generosity can be the inflection point. Um, so you see, let me think for a second. How to describe the image? Hmm. Because um, that's exactly what your talisman, the dragon motif, is trying to show us, right? Am I making sense to you? Just like this dragon's elongated body that brings some kind of mystical power to the carrier or the one, the ones who wears, who, who wear it, uh, such an inflection point can literally alter the course of your destiny. So I guess I can put it this way. Um, due to your behavior, out of sheer generosity in your heart to this old pal, I feel that they are going to reciprocate 
by offering you offering your uh, expertise to uh, let's say let's say uh, their company or someone of a higher position in your dream job or dream company just they happen to know these this person or they'll offer a timely help with a heartfelt recommendation to you on a good opportunity they see they have this channel to know and they think you can get it something similar might happen like that soon in combination of the two oracle cards we have on divination and protection not only you have guidance from the spiritual realm precisely what i'm doing here for you guys you also have the tight net or shield of protection from your fairies and spirits and i feel right here your oracle cards are telling you to have expectations if you think you don't have a set of expectations yet then it's high time to create some because your expectations are your intuitive guidance of your physical limitations. They define your role, skills to, to acquire, to share, interactions with colleagues, and how many hours your mind and body will stay sharp and fit for work and the perfect kind of work-life balance your soul really desires. When your physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, and soul all align with one another, they together will empower you in a way you can't imagine. You have to experience it yourself. You know how wonderful that will feel only when you experience it when you're by yourself. Um, expectations are like your inner shield. They will shield you from chaos. So one more thing about the amazing expectations is um, how they will shape your career trajectory. So they will shape your path like want to ra race, if you want to race, I mean, <laughs> set the expectation of how much you think your labor, intelligence, and skill set really worth, or seek additional projects, learn voraciously, and grow. If you're already a type of leader in an organization or an entrepreneur in a small business, etc., uh, as a manager or a creative business owner, for instance, maybe it's time for you to evaluate or reevaluate. Um, right? Um, do you need a bigger team? Maybe. What's your expectation of the model of your collaboration with another corporation or and uh, on your collaboration mode of with with an advertisement agency maybe perhaps you know what oftentimes a well-managed uh harmonious team that that each member contributes what they're truly good at will thrive or they just thrive <laughs> like better than other teams that are uh, are incapable of doing that, incapable of doing that, right? And this divination card is interesting. She seems like she's in her mental health oasis. She's tapping into her spiritual side in search of clarity to reduce stress because I think you agree too. Uh, having guidance can ease our minds. Here we are. I think spirits want to remind you of who you can become. King of Swords means a powerful and wise man or a woman who's good at time management. Literally, I can't hide no more. Just how delightful and excited I am for you guys. I'm so, so, so happy to see uh, the connection of your tarot cards and the dragon talisman you picked uh, for you, for yourself. The, the dragon motif. Sorry if I pronounced wrong just now because English is only my second language. Uh, for sure, I speak better than my third language, but not as good as my first. So please forgive me if sometimes uh, my mind and my eyes and my mouth all are like doing different things simultaneously. Uh -huh. But anyway, just picture a ma maestro, confident, in control. And you too, you can become someone who conducts their days in whatever direction they want. 
you can prioritize uh, tasks, delegate delegate wisely, and compose your narrative effortlessly. You can certainly become a powerful man or woman who doesn't chase time. You command it. You have such incredible motivation, my dear friends. Uh, tell number one, it's somehow like the hidden melody that fuels your productivity when you feel a bit, a bit drowsy or bothered by the same old, same old. Um, you see, uh, to achieve greatness, we we all need to repeat redundant tasks from time to time, right? And only when we can survive and get through those moments can we see the bright future, the successful professional development, and reap the fruits of our efforts. I believe that, and I think we all can agree to the idea, at least to a certain degree. How about this? Let me encourage you with the blessings from our sweet spirits. You will set your personal milestones, starting from uh, celebrating small victories, and then your passion will resonate on a uh, totally another uh, elevated level, and you can then target the next milestone. When you feel nervous over deadlines, please remember it's not just me, but also our all-knowing spirits who are confirming right now. So much applause from your clients and secret admiration of your current colleagues are coming. You got the start card. You see that? And if you know me, I don't have a history or, or, or record of cheating, cheating when I'm pulling cards for my questionnaire, questioners. Um, therefore, I do see this card as a reassurance for um, your future career success, my love. Tal number one, uh, short for talisman number one, so tal number one, uh, at the very least, the, the applause, the applause and satisfaction of your clients can be seen and expected for sure. Um, furthermore, another fascinating perspective I get or I got from your cards is related to your struggles at the moment, your later small victories and the accumulated lessons that, that will all be the nutrients that charge your physical and mental engines and uh, propel you, uh, and propel your engines and for you to have even more concentration and focus on your professional path. Others around you in your workplace specifically, we will, they will hum along. They will be inspired by you as well. Just like this scenario shown on the star card, you can definitely expect that that whole scenario to happen to you. And that's so far for your career. All the vital messages I can get for you guys, my dear Tal number one, talisman number one. If you enjoy this reading, if it helps you gain more clarity on uh, and propel, uh, compel you to move forward with confidence on your soon-to-be successful career path, kindly press like for me and remember to subscribe to my channel for more contents like this one for, an, for other aspects of your life. They are coming shortly. And all I want to do is to help you guys, my sweet friends, have a comprehensive understanding of your potentials and all the beautiful, positive outcomes you'll get. Thanks again for listening, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Bye! Hold on tight. Hang on tight, tile number two. When you got the ham man, you know what? Um, the best is yet to come. I don't know if you ever wondered about the possibilities of switching to a hybrid work schedule. Uh, so the concept has emerged as a powerful force uh, in our rapidly and constantly changing job market nowadays. Per my observation, of course, uh, combining the best of both uh, remote 
and in-person work, hybrid models offer flexibility, efficiency, and adaptability, right? As you are steering towards this new landscape, it's essential to recognize that the fact uh, the fact you intuitively picked this sword uh, talisman and it's got elaborate um, and delicately crafted patterns adorned with the with the sword. It's implying in my eyes very clearly the delicately balanced and well-crafted hybrid work schedule can bring so much security to your professional life. Yes, it's all clear now. You see that too? Hybrid work will allow you to open your eyes and mind to a more dynamic approach of executing any tax, tasks you get or you have a hand, uh, I personally see that you don't seem like someone who can feel fulfilled or be able to express your maximum potential with a rigid uh, nine to five schedule and being limited within a fixed office space. Instead, I think you're someone who can totally blend uh, remote work into your office presence. This adaptability will be like hmm, your sword, right? It's a tool. It's a tool that can cut through traditional barriers and delays. It will enable you to thrive in a diverse career setting, really. So you can choose when and where you want to work. And through that, you'll optimize your productivity. You can do something like early mornings at home plus middays in the office. Uh, and the, the flexibility will remain your supreme choice. There are something else I see from the handman card. Number one, I don't know if you work in the tech field already or you welcome technolo technology integration, even if you just own a small uh, creative or um, trading, retail, uh, manufacturing business. I'm seriously. Um, feeling the empowerment of technology as your uh, seamless communication tools to bridge any kind of um, geographical gaps uh, your business may have these days in order to expand the scope of where your, your business can reach, right? Uh, so for example, you can do mostly, uh, mostly a video conferencing uh, creating your own or utilizing uh, existing collaborative uh, platforms and project management software to keep all the small units or teams in your business connected when it's needed, of course, to combat uh, the delays and setbacks traditionally we face today, right? Also from the handman card, the witch here is taking on a selfless task for humanity. And so I'm seeing something like a task-based approach. In other words, you focus on outcomes rather than the micro managing of hours. Uh, yes, it's all clear now. If you have your own business, that's right. And now we add these two oracle cards for you. Believe in magic and wait for winter. They sort of accompany the handman and now it makes perfect sense. Delays, postpones, patience and wait, cold weather and until winter comes, I bet you also notice the synchronicities. My love, tile number two, talisman number two, I believe you'll receive a spark of inspiration regarding your job. If you aim at, achieving higher good for all and you have cultivated a pair of attentive eyes in other words you pay attention to details in particular you won't believe what i see for you if you're an artist or your job is crafting something maybe hand crafting something or you do ui or ux website designs and all that due to such a spark of artistic and creative inspiration, you'll willingly devote yourself into creating the finest 
uh, intricacies of the, the appearances of your physical or digital products. Let me make a quick fix. I want to adjust my words a little bit. This is, in fact, not only for artists. So the effects of paying extra attention to details, the benefits from you doing that, um, don't limit to only artists or people who work in the creative field. Um, but rather, it includes people who analyze data, design a user interface. Oh, yeah. I mentioned that already. My apologies. Or just programmers, uh, computer engineers, all these people who, um, all these people also, yeah, whatever commit to precision is what I'm trying to say. Precision and such commitment will set the stage for the spark of inspiration that you shall receive shortly. I think you can really anticipate this upcoming winter because when you arrive, when the extended nights arrive, as the clock ticks toward darkness, when you step outside, away from the city light pollution, the cold air will act as a mean, as a, as a mean to effectively sharpen your senses. Especially if you live somewhere, you can see the northern lights. Please, please, please remind yourself, remind yourself of uh, the fact that all you need is patience now. Extraordinary rewards are on their ways to arrive at your front door porch by this winter already. So, my dear fellow warriors, tell number two, wield and spread your swords. Look at the amber James stones, uh, or James stone gleaming with purpose at the hilt of this beautiful crafted sword of your chosen talisman. Fight for job security, not think about yourself as a cog, in a, uh, merely as a cog um, in a heartless machine, but regard yourself as a guardian, the guardian, in fact, of your own destiny. In this dystopian landscape of our current job market at large, sometimes we might feel we have to leverage an, our, our passion um, and with, with material success, right? Sometimes, sometimes we have to wane our, our, our passion in order for the pursuit of material success. And sometimes we might feel like the material things, the physical world, is threatening our real passion, uh, namely our true calling. It's trying to devour them, these, uh, the calling and the purpose in our life. And it does sometimes feel like that. Yet, guess what? Page of Wands and Ten of Pentacles appear together. It's uncanny. So perhaps, just perhaps, you're meant to carve a path toward a brighter dawn your own unique career path. You are meant to be your own commander. After all, after all the self-doubt and hesitation, that's who you are meant to become. I think you're on the quest for um, job security and stability, and it's really aching to the gesture of polishing your sword, your mind. The James Stone represents purpose. Like, like we mentioned just now, for real, your purpose is what's guiding you all along through difficult times and uncertainty. When there is either sadness or drudgery, desolate situation, I'm seeing how special, especially those moments of a person, of a human being, how special you are. Your world is a place where passion is not merely a distant memory for you. You're still constantly remind yourself of your existence and determination that confirm to you again and again you won't replace your life's purpose where your passion lies you won't ever replace it by the relentless pursuit of material success like what most people do nowadays i really feel you corporations tower look like huge obstacles nowadays and they cast shadows over us the masses, even though once in a while you may feel like the air is filled with your anxiety, I 
and the ground trembles under the weight of deadlines and performance metrics, not just not just earthquakes. Uh, during such moments, especially the news says something like close to 85% of people today worry about their uh, whether they can keep their jobs or not. This, this type of news tells us job security is a rare commodity because robots, AIs, automation, and economic upheaval, upheaval. However, I don't see any reasons for you. Tell number two, specifically you guys, you have not, nothing to worry about. There's no reasons for you to worry. Please take a good look at how reassuring and comforting when these two passionate and happy, joyful tarot cards showed up like this. Feel the magic. You have a purpose, my friends. So purpose alone won't fend off the wolves at the gate, like those wolves of Wall Street, for instance, people who, who want nothing but your moolah, right? You can now see through such people and forge your swords from determination and grit. By the way, I must emphasize, <laughs> swords are also our intelligence. So you can use all of them to hack through bureaucracy and office pol politics. Each time you use your swords, it's like an assertion to show others that you matter. You personally, as a human being, matters a lot. And that your labor should never be taken for granted. They are not in vain. They should be seen as a part of the company assets. They are worthwhile in exchange of stability, right? So your efforts should be valued beyond just productivity metrics. And that's all I got from spirits for your career. The vital messages I can get for you guys, my dear Tal number two, talisman number two, if you enjoy this reading, if it helps you gain more clarity and compel you to move forward, push you forward with confidence on your soon to be successful career path, kindly press like for me and remember to subscribe to my channel for more contents like this one um, for other aspects of your life. And they're coming not for long. And all I want to do is to help you guys, my sweet friends, have a comprehensive understanding and somehow foresee a little bit of your potentials and all the beautiful positive outcomes you'll get soon uh, in the future. Thanks again for listening. And I'll talk to you guys shortly. Bye. Okay, so first of all, tile number three. You have this flora uh, abstract talisman. And please know that I'll use only the short version from now on. I'll just call you guys Tal, T-A-L, Tal, Tal number three. It's just easier. And from this talisman, we see that it's giving out an intimate kind of vibe. So which is making me consider something critical for you. Have you ever stopped, paused for a minute or 10 minutes? Like mid-meeting or when you were presenting, speaking, you took a moment to just say, please allow me to think for a minute. And then you re retreated to your seat and pondered for a while about what's the meaning behind this proposal. What are you, what are we trying to achieve besides uh, profits? And you raised awareness of this topic and just watched watched as the energy of the of the meeting room shifted suddenly it was not only about spreadsheets it was also about what the intentions of this proposal really was um this is a general reading so we get the idea and now we add eight of wands to the mix eight of wands reveals to us the value of hard work but a different uh, def definition of hard work, there's a small tweak. Um, it's not just about spreadsheets and deadlines and goal setting whatsoever. It's more about working on building connections, forming bonds with your co-workers and clients. You'll find that the beauty of coming up with precious, fresh ideas 
doesn't really echo in any sterile boardrooms, but rather it's in the sparkle of the shared moments of understanding, of cooperation, of uh, teamwork with your coworkers or colleagues. You can train, train, practice, and upgrade your communication skills. Maybe join a workshop about uh, improving your communication skills. That's going to help tremendously. The key is to communicate in a way that evokes wonder. Give any form of uh, communication, casual or formal alike, you give it your personal interpretation and meaning. Try to find the common ground and the heartbeat beneath the jargon. There are people, real heartbeats between people or among people, right? Um, I would imagine a rainy afternoon is your perfect setting for creativity, my friends. You can always prepare and gather your tools, build up your confidence, practice delivering your speech, uh, do your detailed research, and learn how to be assertive when making a business decision or when you are on the brink of making an important transaction, signing contracts, etc. Wish wisely. There you go. It's like you can manifest whatever your heart's desire so long as you prepare yourself well and wise. Like if you need, you can dive into market data, like become super engaged with all the most up-to-date trends. Know your industry's rhythms. You can collect all the information, the pivotal skills you've honed, the value you bring to the table, all the most solid grounds for you to negotiate a, a race, to negotiate your salary. You can, in advance, try to craft your counter offer with precision. You can blend facts and flair. Mm -hmm. Learn the secrets of detecting the, the employer's tune. Harmonize and attempt to land on mutual understanding. You see, that's sort of what this Five of Cups represents, don't you think so? Um, to be more specific, I think, I do feel salary negotiation is indeed on the table for you guys to take into consideration. Tile number three, and I kind of have this sensation to understand that such a negotiation is not going to be a battle of any kind, my love. It's quite frankly, about gathering your allies, mentors, friends, and colleagues, even your, your direct supervisors, and even a level higher than that, I see you guys initiate several new projects and you exchange notes and fine tune your targets for each stage of your overall performance or sales or new product promotions. And then it's your turn uh, to negotiate for a higher salary. So it's more of an entire process instead of a single event. I see it all happen in cozy room settings of camaraderie, not battlefields. Salary, benefits, growth, opportunities, they can become your sources of uh, fulfillment at work and for your long-term career vision as well in the end. You can wish wisely by preparing yourself well enough to avoid any short-term disappointment. Uh, certainly, it concludes what we got out of the combo of this Oracle card along with Five of Cups. Therefore, as you reflect on your negotiation triumph, because believe it or not, the, the negotiation will turn out to be successful. Surprise! <laughs> nah, we already saw that with Eight of Wands. You, rem you remember that? Um, Eight of Wands. So the negotiation can also be a very simple process in general. Now I see that. So you don't necessarily have to focus on the digits following the dollar sign, <laughs> the US dollar sign, or just numbers. You can first consider which position you're aiming at eventually getting it you which position you want that to eventually get it right so 
bookmark what the position requires, the qualifications, what are the duties, what's the responsibility of that position, and push your personal boundaries just a bit when you work. Push bit by bit from now on, you know. Try to step into the power, the role you'll play once you get to that position. Merge yourself into the your desired uh, future, which is also the secret of manifestation, isn't it? Um, basically, you feel like it's already happened. And that's like the key, right, my friends? Not to mention, I pulled the chariot and new beginning for you, tile number three. In this image of new beginnings, we can for sure get the feeling of this fairy godmother looking at this um, newborn with care. She's incorporating her most brilliant message and hopeful, hopeful elements into a beautiful present in the form of a tiny, fragile, uh, tender flower. Of course, flowers are the almost not to every culture around the world. Every culture has their very distinct uh, interpretations of various uh, objects, but many cultures consider flowers as the symbols of beauty, especially, especially the beauty of nature, as the messenger of, uh, messengers of seasons, the hope of our dreams blossoming graciously as a mean to, as a mean to convey our love and also our deepest emotions and purity, right? Um, imagine when you wake up with a single rose waiting for you on your windowsill, <laughs> a single rose waiting for you on your windowsill every single day. So nice, so sweet, and so delightful to see, I bet. I don't know about you, but it's definitely for me. Uh, I love flowers, and I hope you do too. <laughs> They're beautiful, right? It's like a rose a day kind of idea. How number three, how about gifting yourself a rose a day, my dear tell number three? A fresh idea and follow up by progression each day, day by day, indicated by the chariot, exactly. Um, crimson rose to empower you with courage. Ivory endows you with elegance. Yellow brings uh, sunshine and lightness into your life. Lavender gives you lucid profit dreams at night. And coral Oro asks you to be ex extra brave today to try a different cuisine you never tried before to take another route to get back home. Um, velvet, velvet mm, protects you, protect you from evil spirits, from enemies, and uh, any kind of harmful uh, competitions. Uh, it protects your secrets as well, things or thoughts you treasure uh, in your heart. Pearl, pearl reminds you of sweet old memories. Well, that's like <laughs> a week's progression or progress there already. <laughs> and to be honest, um, the progress that the chariot is putting forward for you, it is not a solitary pursuit. It actually from what I see, it intertwines precisely with environmental stewardship. I don't know if you are an entrepreneur um, in such fields somehow. It's the water over here and um, the natural spirits, animals. Uh, it gives me the idea of uh, fields such as environmental protection and uh, advocacy or sustainable products. I think people understand, uh, the importance of our, our environment. And I think somehow your physical or digital products have some kind of tie or ties with helping people to even more understand, uh, and mitigate their impact on our mother earth. Let's say, you could be research, researching for innovations in com composting, uh, wastewater treatment, and uh, eco-friendly designs. 
things that address our modern environmental concerns. It's the same. Amber Stone, James Stone, just just like tile number two. Yet for you, tile number three, the embellishment is is very different. Amber, in my opinion, from studying James Stones, hmm, plus the flowers, and uh, I also study like different kinds of crystals and flowers、uh, combinations. The color variations include in this、um, specific talisman: orange, yellow, or gold. Sometimes, a little bit. You can interpret it as brown or a bit reddish brown. Um, so this this image can definitely be linked to our sacral or and solar plexus chakras. It's our drive, our ambition, creativity, self esteem, confidence, and freedom. I mean, both of them together. Am I right? And all together, all that ideas together. To sum up, all the ideas I'm getting is one word: entrepreneurship. So the James Stone in the center of your talisman gleams with promise, and it's inviting you, you dreamers from diverse backgrounds, to embark on your individual journey of finally becoming able to govern your own work cadence and take full control of your work hours and locations and so on. Well, hence I'm thinking. If your salary negotiation doesn't go well, well as you expect, as you expect, there's another way out, which is staying in your current job to prepare for becoming an entrepreneur later. Definitely do that. So that's all I got from spirits for you for your career. It's so amazing. You can stay in your current job and then prepare for becoming your own boss later, and you are definitely capable of doing that. It's such a life change changing time for you, my dear Tal Number Three. If you enjoy this reading, if it helps you acquire more, ah,、uh, more clarity and compel you to move forward, push forward with confidence on your soon to be successful career path. Kindly press like for me, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more contents like this. For other aspects of your life, they're coming. No need to wait for long. They're coming soon. And all I want to do is to help you guys have a comprehensive reading,、uh, and then understanding of your potentials and all the beautiful, the most beautiful positive outcomes you'll get. Thanks again for listening, and I'll talk to you guys shortly. Bye.